about him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up.
more in the hay for a lick on the lay of it. Triple Gate of London. Might find an official worth his salt here. I beg patience, all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? Where are Master Ame? You'll be on your way shortly, huh? 
Something of a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> it can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? Who governs this burr? I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the governor Trigger. Good and fair Dane come to London four years back. Trigger? Aye, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa, <laughs> dealing with old manor and Avery. Stow! Avgus wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We are talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgus wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. <laughs> And if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! Heaven, you fight like the devil stolen your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Rold, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, is that it? I will have dealings with any who can deliver fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that is you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stowe's my name, Stowe of Lunden. A burly name for a burly man. I like one who can hold himself in a brawl. To walk tall in Lunden, a man must know how to swing his fists. It is not empty praise I give. <laughs> well, your candor is appreciated. Take me to your governor's, though. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigo we go. What can I call you? Humbler of thugs? Dane Hammer? I am Avo of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Eivor. You're a worthy ally. So, this is London, a city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, as early as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Mundinwich. I was Saxon Burra, just past the Western Walls. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. No, no, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless reeve. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke is an orphan of the last Viking horde to put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now, it must have been. It's through Trigger I met Erke, and now we Reeves walk the city like parents looking after our children. A native son, and an imported Dane. See, London's a city built of many pieces.
Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the air. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? These men with the light of thy countenance visiteth and shines upon them. You've no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stowe. It can't go on like. like this. You must be Erke, London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me second reeve? First, in the Eastborough, and a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. He came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with his clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man, and that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder on the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? They must have been known to him. Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. He governed this burg. Oh dear. Three sets of footprints leave. Two average and one massive. What is it? Three from a mistress. Sorry. Mistresses. Intrigue's death. Ah, yes. The old man had a wandering hand. A barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. Must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. This letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome. Went an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erge, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of three such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. Find anything besides enough blood to repaint the city's faded bricks? No. I do not envy this man's death. Hang on. There's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal? No. It looks Roman in origin. It must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this guard for him to grasp it even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat, probably as he read the letter. One of his guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. He didn't make it. A 
the second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attack took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This killer was a message. Their footprints leave together, three sets, heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by Manicus. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baltersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. The Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The leech hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic temple. I passed it on the way here. Mithraic temple? Is that a church? A church? Heavens, no. Mithras was a pagan idea. A so-called god beloved by the ancient soldiers that built this city. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? Town hall will follow soon. Should the Reeves change their minds, I will have to gut them and put a puppet atop London's throne. But Stowe seems a good man. I will trust his word. Stretch your wings, Sue. Who would thought a head went on the The Temple of Mithras. Well guarded for a tangle of old ruins. I need to find the entrance. <laughs> this place is heavily guarded.
Huh? What's the problem? Something going on? What's going on? going on now. Tools for a surgeon, finely crafted, like we found in the villa. And there's a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith. The compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west. Worth a visit.
messages between the leech and the compass. Healing, gutting. The leech is a strange one, but the compass calls to strikes. I have got enough to go on for now. AK and Stowe must see all this. I see more bloodshed in London's future. At least Sunin will feast. What can I tempt you with? I'm only buying these because I like you. Hope to see you again. I will see you later, friend. I heard the guild in Sparrow was carrying more in. This harbor houses sunken treasure? Yeah, the current's too strong to pull the rack out, so we're left to lament the loss. You interested? I am a strong swimmer. I fear no cold, current, or drinker of the deep. Then by all means, we can scrape together a reward fit for the cargo's rescue. What say, Dene? None ma draken blood this year. This year! How about a round of dice? He's nasty. Best not to draw attention here. Nevan, on Finheya, a melia nulia. Tonne way they eat his heat quick never swing on.
It's worth knocking on a few doors. That's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Eivor, you bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum. Notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they are called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. Do we know anything we can act on? Let us not waste any more time. We'll find the arrow and the leech. Killing both should drag the compass back into port. So, I will catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him. See.
Ich lerne fest am Traum leer. Ich bin ja doch so sehr leer. Du siehst da bettere Bienes und Hartnes. Da ich fremde mich. Tabes and Felis solo to muid armis venit pluviali. Vel focibis auida mores necne. Hecres tristes. E non cupidum eorum. Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman on the hunt. And once we've found the arrow, this order needs to know we'll be after the leech and the compass as well. You know I shed about the arrow and recruits. I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor, what was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and it was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think he'd do something so vile. But then do not. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But, but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It is good to talk. Unburden your soul. Clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. Thank you for listening. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. Hey, you want some meat? Yes. Oh. And you are my friend. There's no beer like no beer. Oh, well, God curse you! What manner of uncivil... You got the coin? Is that the coin for the archery contest? Keep off, boy. This is my coin, my shot. You want one? You talk to my mate who's shot. I didn't take you!
Be gone. You reek of someplace else. I have a bow and a body ready to serve the arrow. So why turn away the sharpest eye in Britain? <laughs> I haven't come this far trusting any old sellsword on the street. How do I know you aren't some rat looking to sink our ship? I would never. A mutual friend sent me. Did he now? And what's our common friend's name? I need a moment. Verily, I believe you. It was Egbert of East Anglia. Yeah, right. Be gone before I kick your teeth in. Wrong answer. I need to find another way to get the coin. Some of these men have pocketed their coin already. Which? Ignore your purses, lads. There we go. This coin is engraved with an image of the London Coliseum. Forget to bring it up. It shall sprechen me day. At least I have a note. the mean elite. Keep seeing them around my mum's house. Thinking they can stink up the place. What's your business? Shooting or watching? You are looking for skilled archers, and now you have found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking, but I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I will shoot a practice round, just to be sure. Go ahead then, they're all set up.
how was that? You've got quite an eagle eye on you. I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's the new competitor. A Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Seyed! All right, take your mark. Hook set! Arrows not! showing such a pity wait i can do better i often say the same and it always costs me a little fortune you've got a good racket here cutting my purse strings for a few more arrows let's loosen those arrows targets up bows ready all right take your mark Loki's wind cast my arrows aside. You're a poor shot. That's the end of it. After two attempts, Sayer remains the winner. The arrow awaits his new champion at the Imperial Arch. Don't delay. Go lick your wounds elsewhere. Everyone's heading to the rally. <laughs> Just raise my hood here. <laughs> Friends, brethren, good people of London. We have had a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Oh, it's all 
Knocked. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves! He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fell me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? I can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you would like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgus, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage to harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition, greed, anger. From one man, such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it is a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it, 
and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it is cold comfort, but glory has the taste of your family's blood. With Avgo's gone, I will turn my attention to the leech. Erkes should be down at the Keys. He'll be waiting for you. If the compass should emerge, we will let you know. Then I'll be at St. Paul's Church, waiting for the good word. Take care, Broga. <laughs>